we are discussing about topical preparations or the topical formulation in which we completed topical preparations such as ointment lotion then liniments and now we are going to start next topical formulation or preparation is creams screen is visible yes, yes ma'am ma yes ma'am yes, ma in previous lecture we discussed about ointment in which definition of ointment it is in a semi solid dosage form then it is intended for application for the skin without friction then there are advantages disadvantages base types then how to ointment is to be prepared their storage condition then quality control test for the ointment after that we are going to start next point is creams so in the topical preparation cream it is one of the important formulation so creams are intended for the application to the skin or certain mucous membrane for the protective therapeutic and prophylactic purpose so cream it is an homogeneous viscous semi solid preparation it consisting of opaque emulsion of either o by w or w by o type and in which whose consistency amount around the oil and the water so it is an homogeneous semi solid preparation so in this chapter again we have to study same points so many uh, different types of the creams advantages of creams disadvantages then how it should be that is ideal characteristic of the creams formulation of creams how it should be prepared that is method of preparation storage condition for the cream quality control test for the cream so let's start from the definition of creams so creams it is defined as it is an a semi solid dosage form it containing one or more drug substance it is dissolved or dispersed in suitable base so either there is creams are o by w type or w by o type then o by w type of emulsion microcrystalline dispersion of long chain fatty acids or the alcohol that are water washable so means some creams they are o by w type of the cream and in which there is microcrystalline dispersion means dissolution or dispersive phase in which there is they should be water washable in nature after their application so definition of cream we can say that it is an a semi solid dosage form it containing one or more drug substance either it is dissolved or dispersed into a suitable base is known as creams then creams are the softer consistency and lighter softer consistency and lighter body than the true ointment means uh, this formulation compared with the ointment as compare ointment it having the lighter and softer consistency the next point advantages of cream in which first one they gives prolonged contact in their site of application than any other pharmaceutical semi solid dosage form means after the application of cream contact in between the skin and this cream it should be pro prolonged as compare other semi solid formulation the next point am audible to all yes ma'am yes ma'am yes, ma the next point injured area can be dried quickly by creams than other semi solid preparation so injured area of skin it should be it can be dried quickly after the application of cream as compared to other semi solid preparation so it is one of the advantage of cream then next one it should be non irritating when applied to the skin that is it does not produces any irritation to skin then easy water washable so after their application they should be easily water washable they do not stick to the skin then easy to wipe away wipe my dear that is again easily washable easily removable then less greasy as compared to ointment so as compared to ointment creams should be 
less greasy in nature so it is one of the advantage of cream and easy to spread on the skin surface creams apply kele skin varti that the easily spread hotat skin cha surface varti so these are the advantages of creams then next point disadvantages do you understand advantages yes ma'am yes ma'am Rule number eight. Are you present? Yes, ma'am. Read the disadvantages. Disadvantages: skin irritation of contact determinants may occur due to the drug and exponent. Uh, poor permeability of some drug through the skin. Possibility possibility of allergic reaction can be used only for drug. Which required very small plasma concentration for action. so disadvantages in which first one is skin irritation of contact dermatitis may occur due to the drug and excipient in which after the application of creams over the skin sometime there may be chances of irritation to the skin and uh, dermatitis what is mean by dermatitis Sound is audible to all. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma hmm. What is mean by dermatitis? Skin inflammation. Any idea? Inflammation. Skin there. Dermis, epidermis. So these are the layers of skin. So when there is inflammation or irritation to the skin, that is. dermatitis is to be occur so some creams cause skin irritation or dermatitis then next one possibility of allergic reactions so sometime there may be chances of allergic reaction is to be occur after the application of cream but when it happens when expire this cream we use or apply this cream it should be deteriorate or expired then there may be chances to allergic reaction is to be occur the next poor permeability of some drugs through the skin so permeability poor permeability of some drugs through the skin it means permeability permeability means permeability of drug means what permeability it means easily fluid flow through the porous medium so the permeability of drug ki skin madhe skin varti apply ke creams and after that it should goes flows into the layers of the skin that means epidermis so that permeability of drug sometime it may be poor means uh, absorption after the application of this cream it does uh, there is uh, less absorption sometime occurs that is about poor permeability poor permeability means some drug those are used to formulate the cream that drugs having the less absorption or less flow pass through the porous material in the skin then
Next point, it can be used only for the drugs which require very small plasma concentration. What is mean by plasma? Plasma, okay? Fluid. Plasma it is? Colorless liquid part of body. Blood. Composition of blood, mighty. Blood plasma and blood cells. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma okay, so uh, it can be used only for the drugs which require very small plasma concentration. So during the formulation of creams, preparation of creams, at that time, such type of the drugs used, uh, those drugs having the very small plasma concentration. Plasma concentration means it is only concentration of that drug in the plasma. It is derived from the full of the blood. So plasma, it is composition or part of the blood in which the drug, the drug cream prepare, the drug having the plasma concentration should be small or the less. So such type of the drugs only used for the preparation of cream. So these are the disadvantages of creams. कौन तो फॉर्मूलेशन लोग कैबन टॉपिकल प्रिपरेशन कौन तो स्टडी करते हैं क्रीम क्रीम स्रीम क्रीम बेस लेक्चर में कौन तो ना ले ला ऑइंटमेंट 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 क्रीम सुरे है डिफरेंशियल एडवांटेजेस ना ले ले दिस इज दिस इज डिसएडवांटेजेस the next point. Kai Surya, what is it? What is it? Yes, ma'am. Cream start kele after the definition, advantages and disadvantages. The next point classification of creams. In which first one is cleansing and cold cream, foundation and vanishing creams, night and massage creams, head and body creams, and all purpose and general creams. Also, oily creams, they are also under the creams, aqueous creams, cosmetic creams, medicated creams. So, in the cosmetic creams, this foundation creams, cold creams, cleansing creams, this all this under the Cosmetic preparation. Which creams you studied in practical? Cold cream and vanishing cream. Can anyone tell me about in short about cold cream or vanishing cream? What you learned from the practical about cream? काय समजलं प्रॅक्टिकल मधून प्रॅक्टिकल मध्ये झाले क्रीम राईट काय सांगितलं मॅडम मी तू काय समजले तुम्हाला वॉट डू यू अंडरस्टँड अबाउट क्रीम What is use of vanishing cream? Anyone? Roll number 36, are you present? Yes, ma'am. Hmm, what about vanishing cream? Oh, when I protect... Uh... Protect and function. Missango, ma'am. Hmm. 
vanishing cream it is used as a moisturizer and emollient cold cream treatment vanishing cream it is which type of the cream o by w or w by o cold cream it is which type of the emulsion zalele ka cream cold cream and vanishing cream w by o tari tari ka itna hi it means that you do not get properly question is asked on this point cold cream is dash dash type of emulsion vanishing cream by is w. which type of emulsion cold cream by is w o by w cold cream is w by o and vanishing is o by w Okay, so there are many types of the creams. So classification on the basis of their function, in which there are oily creams, aqueous cream, cosmetic creams. In the cosmetic creams, we can say the examples: vanishing cream, cold cream, then cleansing cream, foundation cream, then hand and body creams, night and massage creams. So in which cold cream it is an a w by o type of emulsion write down in your notebook it is important one the cold cream it is an a w by o type of emulsion and the main principle behind the cold cream is there is evaporation of water which leads to cooling sensation and some emulsifying agent used in preparation of this cold cream are borax beeswax and borax and beeswax as a emulsifying agent then cold cream it is an emulsion of water in large amount of oil that's why it is an a w by o type of emulsion while vanishing cream is opposite from the cold cream so in which oil in water type of emulsion that's why oil it is an a dispersed phase or continuous phase Dispersed. Dispersed. That's why it is known as O by W type of emulsion. And after, so it is called as it seems to disappear when it applied on the skin. And the cold cream, it derived from cold cream. He now can be relied because after their application on the skin, it produces cooling sensation or cooling effect. that's why it is named as cold cream then the vanishing creams they are o by w type of emulsion in which oil is dispersed phase water is continuous or dispersion medium and same concept opposite to the cold cream then next point oily cream so oily creams they are hydro Uh, hydrophobic w by o type of emulsion and usually they absorb only small amount of water and in this preparation of oily creams w by o type of emulsifying agents are added how we can select the emulsifying agent how we select the emulsifying agent to add in any formulation इमेसिबल फेज मध्य यूज करावे लगते ना। ओके, there are different types of emulsifying agent. मैं particular तो तो emulsifying agent cream मध्य emulsion मध्य यूज कराए था। एक अच्छी सेट कर दो। Recall the emulsion chapter. ये चल भी scale. It gives idea about Which type of emulsifying agent is to be added? Understand? Can you tell me scale? Can you tell me? Can 
Am I audible to all? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. HLB scale देखते का idea? Is it right or wrong? What is use of HLB scale? Tell me about HLB scale. What is mean by HLB? Why this point Hy added in your syllabus? Hydrophilic balance. Hydrophilic lipophilic balance. Why it is used? Uh, what is application of it? It gives idea related to which point? Portion of portion of the molecules. Rule number forty-eight. Tell me about HLB scale. Thirty-six. Are you present? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Question is same for you. What is about HLB scale? Sixty-two. And your roll number? Fifty. Which LB scale? Ka hai? Zaila ki nahi which LB scale? Yes, yes. ma'am. Hmm. Thirty-three. What about which LB scale? The ratio between the hydrophilic portion of the molecule to the lipophilic portion of the molecule. And after that, uh, higher the H. Higher the H and lower the. Yeah. If the higher it will be value, then what happens? Uh, hydrophilic attracted water molecules. And if lower, the lipophilic. Then tell me the examples of emulsifying agent. Which is used for O by W, W by O. Okay, see ya. It will be value. It is which type of emulsifying agent? O by W or W by O? O by W. O by W. Okay, correct one. Try the con. So it is the value. It gives idea about either it is hydrophilic or lipophilic. And after that, we can choose the emulsifying agent. Either it for O by W type of emulsifying agent or W by O type of emulsifying agent. So, this oily creams contain W by O type of emulsifying agent. The examples are wool fat, monoglyceride, sorbitol esters, and oily creams. The example is glucinol acetonidride creams. The next is aqueous cream. Aqueous means oily or watery phase. Watery, watery. Water. It means hydrophilic or hydrophobic. Hydrophilic. Hydrophilic. So they are O by W type of emulsion and that contain mis uh, miscible base that is soluble base because of their name aqueous creams that is they are soluble in nature. Then they contain O by W type of emulsifying agents such as sodium triethanolamine soaps. Sulfated fatty alcohols, polysorbate, 
and combine if it is necessary combine the emulsifying agent that is w by o type then their examples are cold cream cold creams are the aqueous creams also moisturizing creams they are also aqueous creams then next cosmetic creams in which uh, they are either w by o or o by w and their examples are visible in your screen cleansing cream cold cream vanishing cream foundation cream mahitya the creams yes ma'am yes ma'am then next one is medicated creams in the medicated creams in this type of creams either w by o or o by w type of creams are used uh, as a base to carry out the medicament means particular medicament added in it and which carry the particular medicament with o by w or w by o type of emulsifying agent that is medicated creams the example are citramide creams that is antiseptic cream then next cream is hydrocortisone cream this cream is used to treat on the skin rashes so these are the different types of the creams you have to write in detail about vanishing cream and cold cream about it is o by w or w by o then how it is formulated the next point o by oil in water that is o by w type of creams green is visible yes yes ma'am yes, ma Roll number twelve. Read the slide. Yes, ma'am. O by W creams. Read again. Oil in water. O by W creams. Oil in water. O by W creams, which are com composed of small, small droplet of oil. this for this pressed in the continuous phase more comfortable and cosmetically accepted as they are uh, less greasy and more easily washed washed off using water emulsifying agent natural origin base wax all alcohols all fat emulsi emollient uh, and creamy white or trans translation translute and uh, say like for example vanishing creams okay so o oil in water that is o by w type of the cream it is vanishing cream or cold cream vanishing cream vanishing are you sure it is vanishing cream yes ma'am yes Okay, then in which the cold cream are W by O type and vanishing are the O by W. So oil and water, oil in the water creams which are composed of the small droplets of the oil dispersed in the continuous phase. In which more comfortable and cosmetically acceptable as they are less greasy and more easily washed off using the water. So this vanishing cream, after application of this vanishing vanishing cream, they are more comfortable and also they are less greasy in nature and they are easily washed off. That is easily removed by using the water. Or when we wash with the water, then they get easily removed. then emulsifying agents of the natural origin for o by w type of the cream are wool fat wool alcohol and beeswax then emollient and creamy white or translucent and stiff in nature so this is about properties of or how it should be that is vanishing cream it should be emollient emollient means soft soothing effect soothing effect soothing or softer then next creamy then white translucent 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 means semi transparent and stiff stiff means they just a remove any dirt particle and they are get rigid 
they get remove any injurious dead cells dead particles from the body so these are the applications or in short about vanishing cream the next point vanishing cream and foundation cream with their formulation in which these creams are also referred as day creams this one also asked for mcq which of the following cream is known as day creams which creams vanishing cream and foundation vanishing and foundation cream then they are applied during the day times then they are oil in water that is o by w type of emulsion when they applied on the surface of skin they spread as a thin oil less film which is not visible on naked eye means whenever we apply this vanishing cream or foundation cream on the skin and when we spread this cream by using by applying a uh, little friction at that time they they do not visible that is not visible on the eyes in they are called as a vanishing cream then they are used to hold the powder on the skin as well as improve the adhesion adhesion means to give support means they are apply over the skin skin and after the application of this cream it use uh, it helped to hold the hold the powder which is apply on the skin means powder apply karayche agodar ya creams ja ve skin varti apply kele jata then it helps or it act as a adhesion to powder that is it keep or hold the powder on the skin then next point is formula in which stearic acid what is use of stearic acid lubricant lubricant what is mean by lubricant he formulation zala sel formulation zale ka creams madhe kay table tarcha madhe same hai ka vegla hai same hai then you have to write same points and same explanation whenever question is asked on this point write about creams okay steric acid it is used as a lubricant what is mean by lubricant friction to help the flow of liquid reduce friction between surface it reduces friction as well as it make the smooth surface then next point potassium hydroxide quantity One gram. One gram. It is used as a softening agent. Okay. Softening means it also may give soothing or softening effect. Then next point, glycerin. Oh, sorry, water. Water. It is used as a vehicle. Vehicle. Glycerin. It is used as a humectant. What is mean by humectant? Humectant. Smooth effect. example of humectant is glycerin 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 and quantity 10.5 g 10.5 g okay so this humectant usually they are additive and they are added in formulation of cream as well as in the lotion they reduce the presence of moisture or retain the moisture So this is about formulation. Then how it is formulated? That is method of preparation. As you all know, firstly mix lubricant mix. Correct? So it is serine. How does it get made? Method of preparation. how we prepare this cream same formulation table zalela na hmm sanga mo
आउट ऑफ सिक्सटी सिक्स स्टूडंट एकला ही समजले नाही म्हणजे प्रॅक्टिकल वेस्ट गेले का सेमच असेल फर्स्टली टेबल असेल आफ्टर दॅट मी थोडं प्रिपरेशन सांगितले असेल अँड पर्टिक्युलर युज क्वांटिटी गिवन क्वांटिटी टेकन मग काय घेतलं तुम्ही त्या प्रॅक्टिकल मधून फर्स्ट इयर रोल नंबर टेन इलेव्हन हाव इट इज फॉर्म्युलेटेड फिफ्टी टू आर यू प्रेझेंट मॉडेबल टू ऑल हाव इट इज फॉर्म्युलेटेड सांगा झाले म्हटलं स्टेरिक ऍसिड मेल्ट करायचं वॉटर बाथ मध्ये तर ग्लेस रेन डिझॉल्व करायचं वॉटर मध्ये देन नेक्स्ट झाली क्रीम प्रिपेअर एवढं सांगितलं का दोन स्टेप तुम्ही सांगा हे मॅडम मी कसं सांगितलेलं तुम्हाला काय समजलं त्याच्यातून सिक्स्टी टू आउट ऑफ सिक्स्टी सिक्स स्टुडंट एकालाही झालेले येत नाही फॉर्म्युलेशन टेबल सुवर आहे कोणते इनग्रेडियंट कशामध्ये मिक्स करायचे फिफ्टी टू फिफ्टी थ्री फिफ्टी फोर आर यू प्रेझेंट फिफ्टी टू हाव इट इज फिफ्टी थ्री फिफ्टी फोर फिफ्टी फाईव्ह फिफ्टी सिक्स हा इट इज फॉर्म्युलेटेड मेथड ऑफ प्रिपरेशन काय फिफ्टी सिक्स फिफ्टी सेवन फिफ्टी एट काय मे थोड प्रिपरेशन फिफ्टी एट येस मॅम मेथड ऑफ प्रिपरेशन ऑफ वॅनिशिंग क्रीम झालेलं आहे त्यासाठी विचारते झालेलं ना कन्फर्म सेम फॉर्म्युलेशन टेबल होत का फिफ्टी एट ओके लुकआउट करायचं आहे तुम्हाला ज्या प्रॅक्टिकल मध्ये झाले ते आणि नेक्स्ट लेक्चर मध्ये तुम्ही सांगायचे हे ऑल ऑफ यू आणि तुम्ही फर्स्ट सिक्स्टी टू अँड फिफ्टी नेक्स्ट लेक्चर फर्स्ट आहे Is tomorrow we have first lecture. At that lecture, you have to tell method of preparation of cream. The practical way I let you. Screen is visible to all. Yes. <laughs> Then next point evaluation of creams. In which first one determination of pH, primary skin irritation test, visual appearance, viscosity. in cps and vs wear rate in second then 
readability, stability studies, rheological studies, thermal behavior, behavior, saponification value, and acid value. So you have to enlist all the tests for quality control test or evaluation test for the cream. And in which write down or explain following test in which first one determination of pH. pH of cream, it should be matched with pH of pH meter or pH. यूजफुल राइट नो so it is not used the next test you can write physical appearance in which identification particle size then viscosity viscosity visual appearance in which we uh, we can check the color odor then next viscosity viscosity checked by using different viscometers either it is less viscous or more viscous the next homogeneity means a uh, properly all the ingredients are mixed together or not it is checked by using this homogeneity test the next spreadability spreadability means spreadability spread So after the adequate amount of this cream applied onto the two glass slides, and this slide glass slides placed for the five minutes, and spreadability is determined from the weight applied to the upper slide to move the glass slide and the length of time. Means adequate amount of the cream to sample gets there, and it should be applied on slide slides. My dear, glass slides. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Apply the right side, and it keep for the five minute and check out their spreadability. That is weight. Kiti sample the ah uh, slide worthy speed ke liye after the five minutes, the kiti speed zare la hai. By this way, spreadability test is to be done. The next test is irritancy test. I think this test we discuss in ointment, right? स्क्वेटेंसीड E D E M A. Edema means accumulation of fluid, and edema means skin redness. If there is after the application of this cream on the skin surface, in particular uh, surface area one centimeter square, as explanation sangte the explanation to mala quality control test mala write down karay ta hai. Pakti in list karay jane test. So after their application on the skin surface, after this specified time, it is observed that irritma. Irritma means there is redness of skin. Then this cream is not used. Then next is removal from the skin. So firstly, what is done? Removal from the skin. What is done? Tell me, what is done? How it will be performed? creams remove hai pai jitni nahi after they are used or when we uh, wash it with the water then it should be removable or non removable it should be greasy nature or non greasy 
Gracie. Less Gracie. Non Gracie, not less Gracie. So it should be removed from the skin means it should be easily removable after the washing with the water. So the easy remove of the cream is to be applied on the skin and it is examined by washing of the cream by using the tap water. Then acid value and saponification value. Thermal behavior, it is related to temperature means it should be get uh, spread over the skin at the particular body temperature. Then saponification value. My day saponification value. Chemistry is a lesson. Acid value, saponification value. Yes or no? Okay, first time I play saponification value. Yes, ma'am. Acid value. Am I audible to all? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma hmm, saponification value related to my dear car. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Twelfth month chemistry, the second part of the second part is saponification value. So in which saponification value means there is average number of molecular weight of fatty acid present in this formulation. So the soaps are head creams. Fish wash cream sastat ka? Gel sastat? Creams. Creams may be Creams for evolution as the plan. Soaps. The Jamadi J face formation hoto. For that, some triglycerides are present, or this saponification value is used to check out the average molecular weight of. Fatty acid present in this sample. So, for the saponification number, it is indicated by number of milligram of potassium hydroxide and potassium sodium hydroxide, NaOH and KOH. It is required to saponify the fat present in it. You have just enlisted this saponification value, acid value, but explain. Remaining test, determination of pH, irritation, visual appearance, viscosity, spiritability, rheological, that is again related to flow or viscosity of this formulation. So this is about evaluation or quality control of the quality control test of the creams. The next point is storage condition of cream in which it should be stored in dry, well ventilated area. And it should be stored at free from the contamination and in intense light. Either they are uh, stored into the wide mouth containers or into the tubes. Majorly, it is stored into the wide mouth container. The next point is. Screen is visible? Yes. Yes, ma'am. The next point is difference in between the creams and ointment. In creams, water based semi solid preparation, ointment, it is an A. Oil based semi solid preparation. This difference is important. One question is asked on this point define creams and ointment and give difference in between it. So, in which first point in the creams, it should be water based semi solid preparation, while ointment is oil based semi solid preparation. Then it contains 50% of oil and 50% of water. 
while proportion of oil and water in ointment 80% of oil in the ointment because it is oil based system solid preparation and 20% of the water creams are non greasy in nature they are rich and heavy while ointments are greasy in nature they are smooth and the softer then it is thick liquid preparation creams are the thick liquid preparation as compared ointment it is soft semi solid preparation then next Creams also packed in pouches. As that cream, do you know it? Yes. Very lovely, my dear. Pound creams. Yes. White tone, white. That creams. They are stored into the or packed in either in wide mouth container or in pouch or in tubes. So they are. The next point is white to off white in color. So generally they are white in color or faint pink in color. Then ointments usually they are translucent, that is semi-transparent. Then thicker consistency, cream having the thicker con consistency, while ointment having the thinner consistency. The next easily spreadable creams should be easily spreadable, while ointment it should not be easily spreadable. then creams rapidly absorb ointment slowly absorb creams having rapid onset of action and ointment having slow onset of action as compared to cream creams easily washed off means easily removable by application of water while ointment are not easily washed off कन्सिस्टन्सी जर यूज केलं माहित असेल क्रीमची कन्सिस्टन्सी थिक असते राईट सो इन टुडेज लेक्चर वी डिस्कस अबाउट क्रीम्स इन विच फर्स्टली वी डिस्कस डेफिनेशन ऑफ क्रीम आफ्टर दॅट देर ऍडव्हान्टेजेस डिसएडव्हान्टेजेस देर आर डिफरंट टाइप्स ऑफ द cream that is classification on the basis of their nature or their function then next we discuss about vanishing cream then how it is formulated that is their formulation table after that we discuss storage and evaluation that is quality control test for the cream and last and important point is difference in between the creams and ointment here we complete creams chapter from the topical preparation